Hello, everybody. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a bit late to the party this Saturday. Hey, technical. Sorry, I'm a bit late to the party tonight. Woke up with an awful headache. But uh, napped it away. We're hey, hey, Link. And uh, we're here for some messenger tonight. We're doing the DLC. Picnic Panic. Hey, Crowbar. Man, everybody's here. Hi. <laughs> <clears throat> so last time around, we beat the game. We um, opened the music box, fought the boss, set him free from his curse, and uh, unlocked new thing to do. There it goes. So we went back to the shopkeep, looked at the fancy little orb thingamajig, and got warped away to an alternate timeline. Or it's probably going to start us back in the shop, I'm not sure. Oh no, we're in alternate timeline where Mr. Elder Guy thinks we're just cosplaying as a ninja. <laughs> Although he does recognize us as the messenger. Okay, so he's not actually, he's not going to repeat his, you don't have to wear cosplay thing, but you know. It was, it was funny in the moment last time around. <clears throat> Gonna have to miss out to play some DBD Dead by Daylight. Noise, noise. Well, thank you, Link. I realized the game audio is off. Hold on a second. But yeah, thank you for dropping in. Even if you gotta run away. Uh, da da da. Da da da. Whoop. That should have fixed it though. Now we're jamming. <laughs> Is my next game going to be menus? Oh no. <laughs> you know, uh,. If the DLC is short, I'm probably going to jump in on Paper Mario tonight. I'm, it seemed like it's got some some length of time to it. Um, but as far as what I'll be playing next for my, my Saturday do-ha, I may just switch to play Paper Mario to like finish it. Or well, I might throw something else in. I haven't really decided yet. But as to whether or not it'll be a menus game rather than a parkour game, <laughs> I'm not sure. Alright, so who's this individual? It's Roxton, that's right. I'm telling you, height makes right. The messenger will bow before the mighty Roxton. <laughs> what? The messenger's arrived. Oh great, just when you think you have plenty of time left to practice your spooky flight intro. Guess I'll just come down. Watch this. <gasps> he meant it. <laughs> He's on stilts. <laughs> and so... Or, or, hold on. <laughs> And so, the messenger seeks the aid of Ruxton the Great. Loud silence. I do. Loud silence. Well, aren't you trying to get to Vodkin Island? Yes, apparently the Fulbkins have been captured. How do you suppose you'll get there? Well, I was thinking of calling my buddy Manfred to fly me. And ruin his internship with the Clockwork Concierge? That's not what buddies do. Blank stare. I have you cornered. Bow before me and acknowledge my superior height. 
then I will take you there on my skull mount. Where, where, <laughs> where'd the tentacle thing come from? <laughs> well, this is embarrassing. Flex there. Look, I, I have a date tomorrow. Could you help me get my stilts back? <laughs> Take the vodka aisle afterwards, I promise. Sure. Alright. Hop on! Whee! There's not a. Mm -hmm. See, a star has happened before. I was sitting here thinking maybe the graveyard tour guide is Ruxton. Then again, maybe not. Cowabunga! <laughs> this weather's perfect! Remember a few games showed at GDQ this year, I think? You yeah, I know you've been posting them in the suggestions there. I'll have to go, go back through and look at most all of them. I pinned that one, um... you mentioned the first time. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll go back through and look at him. I know Neo was mentioned. Mich Mission in Orbit. Does it come up? Yeah, it doesn't come out for a while. The two others. You mentioned it. I was like, oh, that sounds neat. Anyways, we're, we're apparently surfing the ocean now. I'm going to teach you how to surf. Yes. Alright, first rule of serpent, avoid rocks at all costs. Use L to move down one way. Oh, we're surfing in lanes. Okay. Um, sometimes avoiding rock means jumping over it. What about the blowfish? Gnarly! Alright. You can hop on the blowfish. Last thing is a Necro Boost, which has no cost or cooldown. Press X to use Necro Boost. Okay. Not too impressive, right? <clears throat> Here's the kicker. The Necro Boost is maintained when it feeds off of enemies or debris. Okay. Press X to Necro Boost now. What about rocks? It'll be cancelled if you hit a rock. Confirm. Don't forget to avoid rocks and keep feeding Necro Boost if you want to maximize speed. Okay. That about covers it. I'll let you drive now. Time to shoot the curl. Shoot the curl? Is that actually Surfer Dude speech? Alright, I guess we're collecting time shards. You know, basic stuff. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. Okay, you only have to tap X once. I hit a golden blowfish there. Oh my eyes. I hit a rock! No! What's the green feather about? I got a green feather. Oh, rocks. Oh, rocks. Uh, okay. Ah! <laughs> Quit hitting things! What's a blue feather?
I don't know what these are doing, but I'm collecting them. They look fancy. Okay, the barrels are held. There we go. Ouch, rocks. Oh my eyes. <laughs> I'm trying so hard to keep up with what's going on. Ouch. Golden blue fish. <clears throat> okay, you can jump two lines at once, you just have to double tap. Ouch, rocks. Red feather. Missed all that healing. It's unfortunate. Kind of needed it. Red feather. <clears throat> all right, let's show the squid who's boss. Okay. I'm guessing dodge all this. Or am I supposed to... I see. Ah, dash into the, the bloops. Got it, got it, got it. Dodge this. Or hit that, okay. I see. Do enough damage to stun him. Ooh, that probably would have exploded, I'm going to assume. Yeah, I'm not going to hit that. Bonk. Oh, come on. Bonk. Oh, rocks. Oh, rocks. Okay. Could have, but I probably did it wrong. Rocks. Boink. Boink. phase is much longer. I think it's because I'm not dealing as much damage. Fox. Oh! I jumped a little late on that one. Well, that's not hitting it back. Oops. <clears throat> it's 
flashing so rad he's probably like one dash hit away from death or something? I don't know. This phase feels long. What am I missing? Damage. There we go. Bonk! Okay. Taco time's over. <laughs> Enough! Give them back! Why don't you tell us what is wrong, Ruxton? Huh? I don't want to talk. I just want my stilts. But we missed you. Why won't you visit? Stop it! You're not my mom! <laughs> Ruxton! Golden feather and the stilts. Okay. And we're off to the island. The okay. Oh. Hello, green octopus. He left again. Yeah. I don't understand him anymore. I thought the necromancer thing was just a phase. But it's been so long now. I feel responsible. We never should have told him he was adopted. <laughs> Don't cry, Octo. But I miss him, Pi. You know, I miss him too. Oh, I know what'll cheer you up. <clears throat> Dinical touch. Dinical touch. Love you, Pi. Love you, Octo. Come here, you. Oh, no. What in the world? <laughs> the messenger will play right into my hand. And once the magic seed is imbued with voodoo energy, I'll be one step closer to getting my revenge. So naive and predictable. I bet he's already on his way to save these useless creatures. Ha! I knew it! Time to hide. For now. That's an excellent hiding place, Bragavs. Excellent. Bramfield. Welcome to the Tropics! Can you turn around for a second? Blink stare. Please. He wants to put his stilts back on. Yep. Much better! I'll let you get on with it. Come see me if you want to go surfing again. Okay. He is still in that bush. That's amusing. Ooh! What's all the way this way? World end. Okay. I feel compelled to check below, but I don't want it to say you drowned. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're swimming. Is this bottomless ocean right here? Okay, it'll stop you. Got it. Let's check it all out. Here we go. No bother. Ouch. Ah, come on, I missed it. By a pixel or two. Alright, well, I don't know what these tokens are, but they're marked on my map like emblems. They're island emblems. Got it. Smash. Hey, look at you! You found an optional item! Hi, shopkeeper. <laughs> what is it? A mask piece. I think it goes along with the voodoo feathers. 
you can find in the open sea surfing area. Oh. Will something happen if I collect all the feathers and mask pieces? Well, it'll certainly yield more than asking rhetorical questions. <gasps> they spelled rhetorical wrong, didn't they? Isn't it R-H rhetorical? Caught that right as I clicked. Blank stare. Good luck out there. All right, so... How many feathers do I need? How many mask fragments do I need? That's going to be my first question. Not necessary for an answer now, but I'm sure the game will tell me, Oh, you need this many feathers. You need this many mask pieces. I'll be looking for them. The green kappas got replaced with iguanas. Interesting. Alright, there were... Exit the map, please. There were a little extra... ...places I missed down here. I think it was just time shards. But hey, if I collect time shards, I can get all the amiibos. Okay, it looks like it was just time shards that I missed. But now the map's complete. I probably will have to go surfing again for feathers. That's my expectation. Enemies, yeah? Friendly? Enemies? This is what the shop looks like? Okay. <laughs> hey, shopkeep. Ah, the messenger! I was expecting you a bit sooner. Hey, I like what you're done with the place. Excuse me? Well, it's like the tiki shop, or whatever. Oh, you're one of those. One of who? The people who always assume everything should be defined from their perspective. No, I just like the Tiki Shop. Sure, let's disregard that maybe and it's but, uh, let's disregard that. Maybe it's just the shop to me, and then I would probably perceive the one from your world as the arcane shop or whatever. After all, I'm the one visiting here, right? <laughs> Like stare. I bet you reply with the name of your town when people take turns saying which country they come from. <laughs> Blank stare. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the shop. I'm glad it pleases your e egocentric eye. Oh, I also just attuned your scroll to the tropics. You should be able to see the time rifts now. Need anything? Yeah, let's chat. So, Voodkin Isle. Oh yeah, enjoy the tropics and try not to harm the little Voodkin too much. They're not evil. Okay. I'm liking the place so far. The weather's really something unique. Blank stare. Blank stare. He never leaves the shop, so he doesn't know. Loud silence. What's wrong? Look. I accepted long ago that our conversations wouldn't be the most engaging, but talking about the weather is where I draw the line. <laughs> Any story? Of course I do! Does this area look like it's part of a tacked-on wannabe Metroidvania to you? No? <laughs> Loud silence. Which story will it be? Maybe I could tell you about the evil genie who would always corrupt the owner's wishes so that the one asking to fly could never land and the one asking to know everything could never talk or write. Sure, that sounds interesting. Well, maybe I could tell you about the little boy who always wanted to be a warrior and became a sword swallower after hearing that we are what we eat. Interesting. What? <laughs> 
Cuffs Gaming. When the race begins, touching the multiverse will cause the end of everything. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, I know. Here's one for you. He's got so many stories, but he's just giving the. Here's what it was, he's giving the synopsis. He's not telling stories. It's wrong. Oh wait, here he goes. <coughs> There once was a family of innkeepers operating their business in a world devoid of physical boundaries. Indeed, the establishment had an endless amount of rooms to rent, and business was so good, each and every one of them was occupied. Huh? An endless amount of room to rent, but every room was occupied. Didn't make another room. Still. New customers would keep coming in and be given a room right away. Okay. Blank stare. Wait, why would someone rent a room if there is no vacancy? He caught on. Unprecedented, right? You see, living in a boundless world comes with a few perks. Thus, even though all the rooms were occupied, the possibilities with them were as endless as the corridor they belonged to. So, the new customer would always get a room number one, and then have to ask the customer that was already there to move to room number two, who would then ask the other customer to do the same for number three, and so on, forever. Okay. So, push it down the line kind of thing. It's scary to think about. Reminds me of the endless room theory. That it could fully be filled. Is that what the story's about? Seems so. Might take a few moments to wrap your head around this, but given the endless amount of rooms, there would always be a next room to go to and ask the customer there to move over to the next one. And while that was certainly bound to cause discomfort to an unfathomable amount of people, the fact still remained that every new customer would get a room, even though there was no vacancy. Uh huh. That's sort of neat. Sort of, yes. And speaking of neat, one can seldom imagine the housekeeping costs. So the innkeeper family eventually determined that there needed to be some sort of boundary. <gasps> In a boundless space? No. For their end to be manageable, the number of rooms had to be finite. They called this concept infinity. <laughs> Blink stare. Eventually, the passage of time blurred this story as it does all things, changing, chain, bleh, changing the word's spelling to infinity and inverting its meaning. The end. Really? Really what? I can't believe this. You dragged me through all of that just for a stupid pun at the end. You know what? You know what I can't believe? That after all these stories, you still won't think past the surface. Or do you simply not care that I just managed to teach you how it's actually possible to do infinity plus one by conceptualizing ensembles with properties cap- What? How it's actually possible to do infinity plus one by conceptualizing ensembles with properties capable of perpetual movement in a way a five-year-old would understand. <laughs> Huh. <laughs> Thought so. <laughs> it's a legit theory. Hilbert's Paradox of the Grand Hotel. Uh huh. You know, in the back of my head, I felt like I'd heard a similar story, but what I was thinking of was like pigeonhole principle. Like when take birthdays for example how many people at minimum would be needed to have somebody have the same birthday well there's 365 days plus sleep year 366 days so therefore to have somebody with the same birthday you need a minimum number of people of 367 that's that's pigeonhole principle. 
not uh, room, endless rooms in the boundless space. Anywho, that's all he's got to chat about this time. Shame. I guess we'll go back out and to the tropics. I don't have enough to buy amiibos. <laughs> I gave you brain hurdy for that. No, 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 no. That one's an easy one. <clears throat> the boundless space thing and the infinite rooms plus infinity plus one. Like when you're when you're arguing with somebody, he's like something something infinity, and the other guy's like infinity plus one. Well, now we know it's a valid answer. Perhaps even infinity plus two. Anywho. Back in time. Forward in time, rather. <clears throat> Onward. Oh, that's what the blue demons are replaced with. I missed. I missed. Bummer. Oh, there's a thing up there. I see, I see. Here we go. One, two... Ha! Shortcut! Bummer. Oh, come on. Oh, double come on. I don't like that their rock doohickeys scatter on one burst now. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna look at the map for a second. There's probably another way up here. But we're going this way. Oh come on! I hate these new rocks. I hate these new rocks. The scatter. How you manage the budget is up to you, but I recommend dodging these. Yes, yes, Gibble. I just gotta get used to the new area. Enjoy your time, shards. Got over a thousand now. You should have evolved. Be fast. It's even up here. More shenanigans, it looks like. Actually, is there anything higher? Does it say there's a room above? Need your assist, Mr. Rock Dude. Yeah, there's nothing up there. Got it. But that will allow me to go to the first of the island in the new age. No, it won't. Okay. Got it. We're bound. I hate those new rocks. Eh. Alright, well what else is up here? Surely I can break... Yes, I can. Alright. What's this away? Oh. Was it supposed to be an easier way to approach? No, I was meant to find that area. Okay. Well, let's go back. Whee! Brrr. Gotta stop eating damage.
Okay, so the vines themselves don't hurt. Got it. Tried not getting hit. No, not yet, particularly. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, come on. <laughs> Do we? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I like how they've taken what were common enemies and made them difficult with minimal changes by making them seahorses and stuff. Sure, it's just more projectiles and all, but... I think it's neat. Yeah, I'll let you be, Mr. Green Guy. For now. I can't let you be. Nice, that works too. I like the chip tunes. Yeah, the music's great. So, I will admit, I'm curious. I know it said, don't hurt the Voodkins. But I'm curious, what happens if you do? Oh, there's a wall there. Also, that timer is real short. That was a very skilled, uh, Shuriken. Even if unintentional. So, I ain't gonna try and go through when it's shaking. And get squash. <clears throat> Time paradox if I hit the Voodkins? Maybe. Yeah, y'all stay down there. <laughs> Nope, that thing. Okay. Hey, I'm back. Uh, nope. Okay. Test. Oh. <laughs> Okay, he's fine. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, it had to connect to the water. Enter the sealed chamber. What happens if I go back? I can't. Okay. 
says there's nothing below. There's something above and something below there. There's something above the shop back there and I missed it. Bummer. I'll have to go back. But it says there's a mask above here, so let's go grab that. Did I know that Bob Ross is on Twitch now? I did not. What I missed was bummer. It was a mask piece. All right, there's bound to be a way to get back to the start somewhere along the way. Well, for now, let's continue. It looked like a whistle. Hey, it's the Falcons! Hmm. Oh, you can stand on them. Okay. <laughs> see, I see. sink out of order? No, I actually uh, did find the money wrench and have bought some of the amiibos from the toy maker as he's decided to call himself. Looked like it would have worked had I done it better. Come on. Do, 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 do. 
There's Bergr the, 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 He's following me. He's following me. But yeah, I'll go back to the um, the money sink and the toy maker when I get uh, 450. Because that's what seems to be what most all of his. Uh, items cost. Out. Please. 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 I'm dead. Oof. Oof. What was I holding down? Why did I slide down? <sighs> Bummer. There a way to Can I shortcut that? Maybe. Alright, bird. Alright, bird. Alright, bird. Are you gonna help? Maybe. Feel like that's doable. <laughs> Shortcut. No progress lost. Yeah, why did I immediately? I guess I was holding down. Speed, I am. Zoom. Below here, I don't think. Ooh. All right, let me let me go back. Let me do this. What I feel is gonna be the proper way. Huh? Okay, it's not working. It's not working like I want it to. I feel like I'm supposed to be gazoom. I may, in fact, actually have to gazoom. What does the end look like here? Okay. No gazoom required. Can't stick to that? Ah, rail track. Darts at me. Also, that totally secret down below, and I'm gonna try and get back down there. 
in the water, unless that's an exit. That's gotta be an exit, probably. Okay. Definitely been tripling down. Oh, come on. At 410, I might be able to get an amiibo soon. do it in the uh, current time. Alright, the chuckers are so much worse with the scatter. What did the dolls do? They're part of the money sink. They make me feel good for having them. Like regular amiibos. <gasps> There's a secret back at the start of the stage. I probably needed to switch time and go backwards. I don't think I can backtrack at this point. I'm gonna have to revisit this area for the secrets. Oh, that's quick. Mario time. Be back later? Oh, Mario time? Now. What you're gonna miss the amiibo, crowbar? I'm gonna go buy an amiibo. What should I get this time? How about a quill shroom? Throws its cap like graduation day. Or does. Look at it, it's on the, the pillar now. Continuing forward. Alright, all you folk in the shooting darts from above. I know I was told not to hurt you, but you're actively trying to harm me. Or I draw the exception.
Oh, this room's gonna be rough. What does Spikes and Corbel have in common? We both have your back. <laughs> even a heal before you reach that room either. Don't bother. Alright. Gotta be done in one. Okay. Trying to connect. Hold on. All right, there's not much more left in the room. Got it. So this needs to point that direction. But it doesn't stop at each of the nodes. That's the thing that gets me. But now it's right. Okay. I feel like I lucked into that answer. It did have me stumped for a moment there. piece right there. I need to figure out how to get to the shopkeep in the old time. These Shurukens are nice! <laughs> in the bush again.
I don't know, more spin the wheel puzzles. Okay, so we're starting from this side. Focus on this spinner. like that. And this will control the middle. It's almost but not quite right. No, that's right. Well, that was easy. How do I hit the hmm? Never, never circles far down enough. How are you meant to backtrack some of this? out eventually oh you can stand on the birds noted Time for the boss. We're in that, that characteristic shop in between two lanterns. No? Okay. <laughs> it is the boss. We're fighting a totem. Okay. Frog, lion, bear? Is that in bird? Um. <laughs> I like how one of the maneuvers was literally just duck. strike. Come 
more tornado dodging. Got it. Also, if I saw that just right, they don't damage, they just push. Got it. I'm glad I learned that I could stand on the birds earlier. Otherwise, I'd be trying to moon jump up there. <gasps> Spike damage right there. Oh, gosh. The storm is worse now, and... Oh. Oh, it's moving. Oh, it's moving. Oh, it's moving. Oh, it's moving. <laughs> ah. Okay. I can win this time. I know what to expect. That's an interesting thought. I just realized that the music is picking up speed as the uh, the phases change. <laughs> Come on. I knew it being in the middle was going to be a problem. No, Gibble, that's not why. I think you can, yeah, you cannot stand. Got it. Ooh, excuse me. Fireball! Fireball! Curiosity has me wanting to check if I can projectile cancel those fireballs. <laughs> I feel like not. You know what? Give me a spot right here. Yeah, sure. Perfect. Oh, really? I messed up there. Obviously, because I took damage. But I didn't uh, didn't continue the cloud jump right and fell through and hit the fire pillar. That was painful. Oh, what happens if it falls in a hole? Okay. Ah, uh, missed it. 
Oh, bother. Yeah, there wasn't a way for me to dodge that. The debate of one health continue or, or forfeit and continuing. Learn from the mistakes, turn it into a win. A selfie with you either. Hey, Trex. You missed the uh, the surf and octopus fight and a bit of island adventure, but we're here. Oh, and we learned about uh, Henderson's infinite rooms policy. Definitely did not call it the right thing, but that was the uh, shopkeep story for this area. And now I'm fighting a big totem. I started late, it seems. Yeah. I uh, had a pretty awful headache today, so I, I did some sleep in in, in, the in the afternoon, and then I was like, oh heck, it's 7 and I'm late. But I'm here now. You don't even have a chance to like grab the corner to survive that. It's just you're dead. Hi, Quibble. Bummer. Passing out of her meds. Oh. Do get the feeling better, I hope. Start. Come on. Birds. gonna try and just crush this area. Open we'll spread the hub for democracy. Hell divers, I'm I'm presuming spreading the democracy. Teaching all the bugs. Haven't played the game, but I, I see a lot of people talking about it. Right. I'm actually looking forward to uh, recently, I think last Friday, Satisfactory mentioned 1.0. I skipped that phase. Interesting. Oh, bothered. Yeah, how was I supposed to dodge that? The lightning from the sky move is kind of rough. Oh, 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 frog. Frogger, Frogger, perfect. Uh, yep, it's moving now. So how do I deal with this phase? Be quick. 
Yeah, it seems to be the answer. Oh, lightning. Oh, lightning. What? Are you duck? Oh, come on. Your reverse direction is way too fast. this okay. two and one come on I gotta be close to beating this oh we're doing the flame thing again okay oh I fell through and hit the fire itself oh come on Oh no, oh no. Okay. That's a win. Oof! I had one HP, it had one HP. Ah, uh, it's the Golem Spirit Dude! Hi, how have you been? This is an alternate timeline, he doesn't recognize me. Like, thanks for destroying my totem. <laughs> Blink stare. Well, you attacked first. He did. What are you talking about? I was doing a ritual to prevent the volcano from activating and you just randomly engaged. Oh, no. <laughs> no way. Way. No way. Blank stare. You know what? Fair enough. I see how you could have thought I was a threat. I guess my survival instincts kicked in a little too fast. I understand. It's all good. So does this mean the volcano will activate? I think so. That demon general Barmthazel planning on using it to conjure up some voodoo ritual, we'd all better hope not. Look, sorry I destroyed your totem. Don't worry about it. I mean it. I'm sorry. It's alright. Honest mistake. So, how do I get out of here? Oh, I'll adjust the wind for you. Follow me. Just gonna adjust the wind. Okay. I appreciate it. You can leave using the wind tunnel. Again, I don't mind the misunderstanding. Hum, 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 hum. He's gonna cry again, like when I destroyed the golem. I'm waiting for it. Confirming I've left. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Hey, I got healed. Thank goodness. Also, now we're on the volcano. Fire Mountain. Oh, now we're... <laughs> you missed! Also, is there anything this way? Nope, okay. Alright, you're trying to attack me. I'm, I'm... I may have to fight back. But otherwise, I'll let it be. Tell me about Fire Mountain, Mr. Uh, Mr. Shopkeep. Fire Mountain, huh? Time for a sunset hike. Fire Mountain? Why isn't it just called Volcano? It's because the kanji used for Volcano is actually Fire Mountain. And it's pronounced Kazan. I think I might know the answer to that. I'm kind of impressed. I'm not sure. Apparently some kid named this one. Blake Stare. Look, as long as you take the climb, you can call it whatever you want. Really? There's no... Huh? <laughs> Alright. 
what, what kind of stories you got for this fire mountain? Of course, here's one. There once was a couple of farmers who inherited a very peculiar patch of land. Indeed, once every harvest season, it would grow a gigantic crystal pumpkin. After a few years of living a very wealthy life by dom dominating the crystal market with fruit, the farmers were taken over by greed. Pumpkins count as a fruit? always known them as vegetables, particularly gourds. I question that one. I don't, I don't think pumpkin's a fruit. It's surprising that the pumpkin patch had to be laying over a crystal mine of some sort. They dug up all the plants and shoveled dirt while fantasizing about what they would do with all their riches. Riches. It's a fruit? Really? This setting up to be the Golden Goose Parable. Let's see how they twist it. Seeds are on the inside. I mean... I guess when you think about it, if you're eating pumpkin, you're eating pumpkin flesh. You're not eating pumpkin seeds unless you decide to have one of those fancy, healthy, not sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds. Why is this the bit I'm getting hung up on? <laughs> Never mind. Anyways, they dug up the patch, fantasizing about their riches. Unfortunately, as it quickly dawned on them, there was no rare mineral cache to be found. The one thing they did find, however, was that in destroying their pumpkin patch, they had forfeited all future chances of getting their yearly giant crystal fruit. They lived unhappily ever after, wishing they had taken good care of their plants instead of letting their greed ruin everything. The moral of this story is that one should be grateful for what they have and be mindful not to lose it all by always wanting more. Uh -huh. The end. Wednesday. Isn't that just the same as the goose that laid golden eggs? Trax called it. <laughs> yes. Well, minus the whole poultry murder bit. There are two things you can take away from this. First, that by pointing this out, you just gutted a perfectly enjoyable story of its ability to enchant you. <laughs> you ripped its core open, broke it, rendering it worthless. Exactly the way a green crystal pumpkin farmer would. And second, I bet you thought pumpkins were veggie. <laughs> yes, actually. <laughs> Pumpkin is technically a berry. What? I don't know. Stare. Ha! <laughs> Interesting. Pumpkins are fruit. I don't like these new seahorse fire spitter things. They're, oh! <laughs> Poor Pacobes, or Pokins, whatever they were. Oh, that's lava. Oh, yeah, that's what I figured. 
Whee! What happens if I go back now? Hold on. Can I? Yes. Whee! Is there a reason to is my next thought. See any more mask pieces or anything? Seems not. Okay. Missed. You have, yes, I have a map. But I'm still gonna go places I shouldn't. <laughs> they're they're crab type, man, they can double jump. I see, that's the difference. or collectibles? Uh, collectibles, I'm... Feathers were from the surf game. Mask pieces are on the island. Um, there's no new text, though. At least not yet. And I know of at least two map... mask... two mask pieces that I've missed. Also, I've been told not to hurt the Falcons, but... <laughs> There's been some occasions where I have. I feel like it's gonna come back and bite me, but for now, <laughs> I'm just going with it. Hmm. 
actually wait. Something above. But for a second there, I was thinking maybe he'll uh, tote me across. That bird. I need that bird. Whee! Ooh. <laughs> My amiibo fun. Was though? No, there's more. Okay. Oh, bother. Okay, that's probably why they did it like this. Give it away to reset. Woo! Easy. Fire breathers. Oof! Uh. Yeah, I should be able to get out of here. Fun. Oh, They're just in the way here. Throw your shuriken going through walls. So useful. buy another amiibo. Whee! Give 
Give me the jumping classroom next. Pumpkin! <laughs> I get that reference. First try. But now I gotta get back. Which seems was much easier. By the way, Trax, we saw death count a bit earlier. It's at 125. But I don't know where that translates to I beat the game at however many deaths left. Ouch! That number might be going up here in a minute. Checkers here are rough. Especially with the splits. Oh, it's falling. Oh, it's falling. Oh, bother. Yeah. Oh, hey, 129. <laughs> Large my number. thing I'm noticing about the, the jumping dudes, they can turn around now. Um, that was an order of events. Ouch. Oh, bother. Oh, 
What the heck with that jump right there? Alright. Okay, there's a little ledge to play in it. What if I just do that? Oh, there's some... Yep, okay. gonna be a little tough. Yeah, what? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Did I get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? Did I get it? Yes! Woo! Nice. Whee! tell you is a secret pen no I missed go away gibble I reacted too slow to reading this room 1300 goodness why haven't you evolved yet? Alright. That's what I needed to do, and I just didn't. Oh. 
No, come on. Hmm, that is tricky. That's lava. Bummer. I feel like I'm taking too long to get back across the room is what, what it is. Okay. I'll go back crawl bar. I'll have to show you a couple of amiibos I bought while you were away. Since you was asking about them earlier. Okay, that works. The other thing is these lanterns move too slow if you mess up at all. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, yes! Oh, so, Amiibos. Last time, before I ended, I bought each of these little guys. And now I'm working on the uh, Quill Shroom guys. But they're each 450. And then there's a boss character. So that's what's in the money sink. the amiibos do they make you feel good for buying them like amiibos do <laughs> oh hello Bromfail how punctual of you messenger or it really is you I thought you died during the explosion in the underworld different timeline <sighs> you think that's all it would take to get rid of me blank stare I told you once, you son of a scribe. I'm the fastest there's ever been. <laughs> uh, release the Fokens now and be gone, demon, or I'll defeat you again. So that was definitely a, a reference to... Devil went down to Georgia. Oh, I wouldn't drag you all the way out here just to lose another duel. Blank stare. See this magic seed? It's almost done absorbing the voodoo energy. And when it's ready, you will see who has the last laugh. Voodoo energy? Uh, you can use actual amiibos in games. True, true. In this case, you cannot. So they're just they're just little statues. 
In this land, fear can be converted. And when it comes to fear, these little guys are an endless supply. Loud silence. In order to fully charge the magic seed, I need to scare them good. To that effect, I should thank you for stepping right into my trap. And by trap, I mean voodoo altar. Oh. Now don't move, messenger. Not like you could anyway. <laughs> Exclamations. Is it because I didn't finish the mask? Oh, at last. The Dark Messenger is born. The Heart of Fire Mountain awaits you, too. Where I placed voodoo idols with the perfect enchantment to damage greed demons. Get to enough idols first and the Dark Corbel will be defeated. Well, thank you for telling me how to win. Fail and you'll have... But fail, and you will lose your own protector, leaving you completely exposed with a dark messenger to take your life. So let us see how you fare in a race against yourself, ninja. Oh boy. You won't get away with this. Look, on the bright side. You won't have to see what happens to the Fobkins next. Oh, I don't like this at all. Please save us. Enough of your complaining. How does the saying go? Oh, yeah. Godspeed, messenger. <laughs> okay. Not cool. Hey, why didn't you show up earlier? I'm not talking to pirate face ever again. Pirate face? Okay, Bromfield. Huh? Look, can we just prevent this? I'd rather not die. Quick, let's go. Oh, boy. Oh, that outfit. He must be from the clan that taught me how to cloud step. Well, hello, Quill Monk. That's not Quill Monk. This probably means... Quillble! Hey, Monk. I think I found another clue related to the cultists. The primal fear can wait. I think we're at one of the branching points mentioned by the Interpret. Oh, with that quarrel guy? Yes, it all makes sense now. Please look after them. Right away! Oh, hoo -hoo. All right, hit all the voodoo dolls is all I really remember. But we're gonna pause time. Hey, shopkeep! <laughs> what a strange place for a shop area to be, but dang it. What am I supposed to do here? I'm not sure what's going on, but I strongly suggest you give your best shot to this race against your evil twin. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all you can say. <laughs> what do you got for stories? I do, but you should really get back to chasing the Dark Messenger. I'll tell you a good one after you save the day. Okay, we'll be back. We'll be back for the stories. Also, huh? This is new. Is that the altar I saw at the top of Fire Mountain? Why it is! I thought it'd be a cool addition to my shop. <laughs> what happened to the caged monster thing? It was useless, so I got rid of it. For now, I'm just using the altar to store any voodoo feathers and mask pieces you find. Ah, do I get to know how many I need to make the mask now? The magic within the altar tells me you have yet to find zero more feathers. Yes, I got them all. And three mask pieces. Yeah, that sounds right. So I did the surfing part perfect. I got all the feathers. All right, we're racing the messenger. Hello, let's go. Was that a me hit, him hit? That's a draw. That's a me. Oh, 
Um, that's a me. Oh, wall climbing. Yeehaw! Ouch. That's a me. Oh, if he's in a different timeline, can I not see him? That's interesting. Hmm. Oh, I'm, I'm losing this one. Unless a miracle. Ouch. Oh. Nice. Oh, that's a lot of lava. <laughs> oh, he's got this one. Yeah. He's zoomed through that. Wait, what? Huh? Oh, he can change my levers. Oh, yeah, he's got this one. Yeah, I think the first ones were easy on purpose. Oh, no. Oh, not this again. It's like he's faster now. Oh, come on. If I die, I just lose. Got it. Alright, I can deal with falling. Ouch. Ouch. And he doesn't have to deal with bird chasing him? Come on. Give me a draw at least. Well, heck. Down to the wire. Oh. <laughs> Wait, there's more? Oh no. But I won. I'm confused. Huh? But I won. Well, I mean, I... Tell me that story. Okay, there's more. Bummer. Nice job making it look like I was going to lose. There were so many instances where I like, he is moving three times faster than I am. <laughs> It was not intentional. Because a lot of that was sight reading. Ah, uh, the chase killed Dark Quibble. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so the messenger wins the race. It's over, demon. Your plan has failed. Release the hostages. Now, now, let's not be hasty. You merely played into my hand once again, ninja. Oh, really? You expected me to lose there, though, I'd imagine. For the dark messenger's full potential to be unleashed, it first needed to be untethered from its greed demon. Oh... Oh, how I've been waiting for this moment. Now, Dark Messenger. I reckon it's time for us to... Do... The... Thing! <laughs> Fusion! Perhaps. Oh, indeed, fusion. They did the thing. <laughs> the artificer's not happy. <laughs> ah, he knew it! Blank stare. Uh-oh. This is actually pretty bad. I'll be right back.
I get all of that, but even if the scroll had somehow been copied too, that doesn't mean they should be able to... Well, 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 if it isn't the shopkeeper. Blank stare. Okay, that's not gonna do at all. <laughs> what? Surely if we do the thing, we can defeat it. Oh, without a doubt. It's just... The hat on this guy? <laughs> of course that'd be what he's concerned with. Well, why don't we do the thing then? Listen, I'm all for fighting bulky bosses, but fashion statements are something I take very seriously. <laughs> he says with the, the lua and the, uh, the flower ring hat. Blink stare. One moment, please. Alright, it's shot. <laughs> he went to get his hat. <laughs> oh, we don't get to shout, do the thing? Are we playing One Punch now? What, what, hold on. What, what is it actually called? Oh, wait, how do I block? Can I block? I cannot block. Ooh, I bumped into that one. Oh, 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 how do I block? I push back. Got it. Oh. Bummer. Fight. Ugh. Okay, so when he swings far... Got it. B button! <laughs> Special! Ouch. Oh, my health carries from round to round. Got it. Did his too? Wait, how come I can't punch him when he when he does that? Is he backing up? Oh, I can do a forward punch. I just have to do it right. Can I do can I do hook punches? I don't understand this. What I'm punching. Yeah, when he gets the knockout stars, I can't hit him, can I? Am I am I just messing it up? Ouch. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I don't understand. Why can't I hit him when he does that? What? Hold on. When he has the knockout dizzies, I can't touch him. I don't understand. Uh, punch out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's blocking you at that moment? Really? Fight. Doesn't seem right. Oh. Yeah, I can't hit him when he does that. Because I can only hit center. Alright. Ouch. Oh, come on, I dodged that, didn't I? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. 
I'm gonna lose. Dang it, really? Try using the other, how? I'm hitting the attack button. If there's some hit this button to attack with the other hand thing, like, I'm gonna press all the buttons this time. I'm gonna figure out what the buttons do. I've never played Punch-Out. That may be part of the problem. All right, do the thing. What do all my buttons do? All right, we got regular punch, which I know about. We got map. Ouch. We got map. Ah. Got it. I do have two hands. I was only using X last time. Makes it a lot easier. Ouch. 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 Back up, back up, back up, back up. Blazer Bleed! Wait, multi punch! And then Laser Bleed! Okay. So I've learned I have two hands. <laughs> oh, do I get a. I don't get a, a multi. Multi-hand punch, like he does with the center center squash, whatever you want to call that move. Oof. I'm gonna win it this time. Now that I have, now that I know I have two hands. <laughs> Fight. I still gotta be careful though of his punches. He may take one round because my health bar is low. Oof. Ah, come on. Yeah, did not need to take that hit. Oh, and he heals up the full if round clears. Okay. Dodge that. Ooh, dodge that. Ugh, how come I don't get any hooks or fancy, fancy attacks? Oh, that was just a... Alright, that's a backup. Laser Bleam! How much health does that do? Is it a win? It is a win. Oh! <laughs> Overkill! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Now that's a finale. <laughs> uh, uh, it it worked. <laughs> huh? Uh, what I was seeing, what, um, what I was seeing was he was off to the right side of the screen. Your left wasn't connecting. Yeah, that made sense. I just didn't realize there was a second button for the attack. It was it was literally the attack and jump button. Kind of weird. But jump button was the right hand. Anyway, he's celebrating for being defeated. I'm confused. The voodoo energy is finally loose and ready to be absorbed. What is he on about? Didn't we just knock this guy out? Behold, 
as the magic seed ripens before your very eyes.